What is going on guys, Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are on Reddit taking a look at the worst ricers of the month. I will be going back to using my face cam starting, I don't know, in a couple days or so. It's just with Christmas, my room is kind of a mess right now because I'm like dealing with the gifts and everything. So it will be going back to normal very soon. Today though, we're just going to be on Reddit taking a look at some dummy dum dums who might have done a little bit too much questionable stuff with their car. Now, like all my other videos, you can do whatever you want with your car, but I'm allowed to have an opinion. So suck my, you know what? All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. Dude, okay, ever since I started like reading ones that say Drew Peacock, Drew Peacock, like I'm not gonna lie, my name is all over this shit. I don't mean to flex, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, let's start down here. BMW Halloween M Sport Spec. And uh, yep, there, um, there we go, there we go. Where's the roof scoop though? Come on, man, where's the roof scoop? Well, if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah, orange and black with red and black seat covers and interior oh my god way to devalue your bmw way to devalue that look at that look at that rattle can in there looks great is this plastic dip or paint the way it's chipping it makes me think it's paint which is really bad over spray just on everything of course because fuck it man it's just, it's, it's just a bmw 328i he obviously debadges it but the poverty exhaust the two on the left side that's how you know mm -mm. Broke boy. Then again, I don't have a BMW, so I mean, I can't really talk, right? I mean, this guy has a BMW and I don't, so he's obviously winning in life. Like, it'd be one thing to, uh, you know, throw the fake hood scoop on, but then to like offset your license plate by like four inches. Ah, you're not, now you're crazy. Now you lost me there. Also, this color scheme, unless you're a San Francisco Giants fan or any other sports team with orange and black, orange and black doesn't work well on cars. It just, not, not in this degree, I guess. You know, you could have an orange car with black ac accents, but. Mm, this don't look right then again i don't think this design would look good on any car kind of looks like there's just like an orange schlong an orange chode on the front of his vehicle and of course the hood scoop that you can see straight through clown moron moving on twice in one day super rare 50 cobra gt sti mustang they wouldn't race me said it was a waste of their time oh, i bet yep there we go the good old sti wing that sti wing has to be the most copied wing probably on like wish.com and alibaba or whatever i i guarantee there's more fakes and reels out there obviously and why is it that everyone tosses it on their car like like i mean it's not the best looking wing it's a good looking wing on an sti and like normal wrx's but it, it it doesn't look good on many other cars you know i will say i've seen it on scion tc's and it, it, it kind of does work on certain ones um then again it's a fucking silent tc so you're already starting with a dog shit ass car there's only you can only go up from there pretty much um but yeah on a new edge mustang no 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 and of course he does have the 50 badge you never know man this could be a gen 3 coyote whipple swap just like mine you know he probably he probably saw my channel was like yep i'm gonna be like that guy coyote swamp hashtag doubt we all know underneath the hood is a misfiring fucking motor i don't know if it's a six or an eight but whatever it is it's running like dog shit just by looking at it 1901 lamborghini mustang where'd you get lamborghini and mustang out of that's a camaro yeah i, I don't see any mustang-esque features on this car Literally, it, it, it's a Corvette on an S10, I'm guessing, with a Camaro front. Okay, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you own this? No, then you can't talk smack. You see, this guy, this guy's a real world-class builder right here. This guy, built, not bought, garage built. Can you say the same? Can you say you created a car damn near from scratch? You can't. And then, like, all the downforce, too. We got three wings, you know? I'm sure when he was going around the track at 220 miles an hour, this one, this first wing just wasn't wasn't producing the downforce. So he stacked another one on top, but then gave himself another one to push down on the center of the vehicle. It just makes more sense. You know, the more you think about it, the more sense it makes. And of course, a lot of people will say, well, Drew, it's just primered out. Let, let's keep it real here. Let's keep it a buck. It's not primered out. The paint just can't stick to the car when it's going around the track. Every time he sets a new record, the paint just flies right off. I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. Also, are the Corvette taillights like more spaced out okay yeah all right yeah. It probably probably another uh reason that i my monkey little brain just doesn't understand I, i'm still stuck in the 2000 bc i'm i haven't evolved yet to understand this all right elantra rs for drew peacock it's a video i'm not going to play any audio because it's probably copyrighted let's take a look okay also it's recorded on like a potato so that, that's that's great um dude that is that is <laughs> What would you guys rather have three wings or one of these bad boys on that on that car? OK, the, the truck before was setting a new record of of downforce. But this scaffolding right here, like there's there's a job site and some dudes 
are going to be able to finish their days of work because some guy in Elantra stole their scaffolding and now they can't finish their job. That's pretty fucked up if you think about it. Like, like, like keep in mind, those people got families, they got little babies at home. They're not going to be able to finish their jobs because of this guy right here, this mad lad right here. Also, does he have... Is that reflective red tape? It's it's so low potato quality. Can I make this any better? Can I please make this any better? No, it's oh, wow. Why would it not play in this audio or quality to begin with? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why, but Reddit's pretty fucking stupid. Yeah, he put a, a, a third brake light, a fourth brake light on the wing. He wired it in at least something on that wing is functional. And is it just me or are these side blades kind of backwards? I think they're backwards. I don't think I think this is supposed to be hanging off the rear not off the front just saying yeah i thought bolting a wing to the top of your trunk was bad this guy bolted it to the back oh uh, fuck what a fucking idiot still got the stock wheels though yeah that was a uh, that was rice that was probably the worst thing we've seen so far consider this a ricer i've said it a million times and i'll keep saying it i don't really care what you do to the interior of your vehicles because that's kind of for you i mean the whole car is for you but this is what you see Obviously, you get no bitches, so they ain't going to see the shit. So this is for you. You know, this is for your solo ride to your nine to five. Let's take a look at uh, the other photos here. OK, yeah. Uh, why have a license plate frame with no license plate? OK, you got like buck teeth up here. That's what it looks like. It looks like a little, like a little buck teeth up here. All right. Uh, are those purple headlights or is it a filter? Don't know. Don't care. Uh, I, I don't know if this thing was in a fire or what, but this bumper looks like a, a burn victim. Uh, it just it, it looks like a, maybe it was a Stancy Pants challenge. I don't know. And let's look at the other photos here. Oh, it's snow. And you got racks up top trying to be like a Subi. Um, yeah, it's a uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's OK. Yeah, the, the, the drift stitching is a little bit much. I wouldn't say it's rice. I just think uh, I think you haven't done much to it yet. It's it, it's ugly. I mean, it, it is ugly for what it is. Like you got the blue purple light theme going on. You got the Sirikawa hanging. Yeah, it, it's it, it's getting there. It is getting there. It, I, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the worst thing I've seen all day. It's not. If I saw this on the street, I'd be like, huh idiot and then keep driving drew peacock thoughts uh the the <laughs> oh yeah look at that look at that bad boy right there sick wide body bruh um once again mating up the front bumper and the fender permanently great love that cosmos wheels which actually the wheels don't look half bad i mean the, the car itself i mean obviously it's like a steaming hot pile of shit all things considered but I mean, it's at least a well done steaming hot pile of shit. Like compared to, I don't know, any of these other idiots that we've seen compared to any of these guys, like this guy obviously is, he takes a little bit more time building his, his pile of shit better than all the other things we've seen so far. Like you don't see many modified or customized Nissan jukes. And maybe it's because most people aren't dumb enough to buy one. But I mean, for what it is, you know, if this thing was pretty quick, I mean, whatever it is, what it is, you know, you do whatever you want with your car. Who cares? This brings some diversity into the car scene. It's more interesting to look at than like, I don't know, a stance car, I guess. Wow. Wolverine got another one. Got another one. The poor Camry fucking clawed that bitch fresh off the lot. I think I get tagged in more Wolverine scratch marks than anything um ever um and it's a pandemic honestly a lot of people are saying that there's a different pandemic going on no it's the wolverine pandemic this is this is bad this is real bad also the sticker doesn't fit so he just he didn't bother trimming it just left it dangling there nice shady clk m500 with the big old wing oh and it's the m5 edition damn he's got the m5 super rare mercedes hey that's rare right there the, the big wing lets me know that it's it's in fact a race car because, you know, all race cars are convertible. Um, it just makes the most sense. You know, obviously chopping a roof off the car is lighter. It's not like they have to reinforce the frame or anything while they do that. So, yeah, I mean, the, if I if I was building a race car, it'd be a convertible. Makes sense. And it'd be an M5 Mercedes because M5s are cool and Mercedes are awesome. And they both totally make sense together. Ew. You got the ABS plastic rear louvers and then metal butt plugs all over it um okay cool and then i mean at least he has the vortex generators and the wing sometimes you see vortex generators and no wing and it doesn't make sense um they 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 go hand in hand you know they're supposed to be there um but yeah it's just some some guy that turned his mustang the big old the big old mighty v6 into um propaganda i've never seen this chrome field door before though and i'm i'm, I'm glad because that is fucking butt ugly. The wheels also look like they belong on an Escalade, not a Mustang. Just saying. Rice or nice, Drew Peacock. I believe this. A lot of people tag me on this guy on Instagram. And it's one thing to tag me in people's posts that are just like meme pages and stuff like that. But to go to someone's page and like tag me and like try to get me to bully him directly. Like it is kind of a douche move. 
Um, I mean, yeah, at least it's a 5-0. At least it's that. I mean, would I put Lambo doors on a 5-0? No. Would I uh, put this honeycomb Mopar like stencil bullshit on a 5-0? No. Would I hydro dip and or wrap everything underneath the hood? No. But at least he's got the 5-0. I will give him that. And I mean, th there are aspects of this car that aren't bad. The GT350 front bumper, the budget WRX STI headlights, um, the Lambo doors are god awful. But, you know, whatever, you know, this guy could do whatever the fuck he wants. I think I see an intake on it. So, I mean, it's probably just like full bolt on. So, you know, just like the most basic shit you could ever do. So, yes, there is there is room to clown on people for that if you wanted to because this guy obviously spent more money making his car look cool than making it fun or drive fun or fast or whatever you want to do oh god all right all right um <laughs> no okay automatic of course um what the hell? float like a butterfly sting like a bee is that his theme is he trying to look like a bee should have bought the the rumble bee should have bought the the mopars for that you kind of got the wrong car it's a lot of hydro dipping going on i'm not i'm not gonna lie that's a lot man this guy's got the, these are number one customer Jesus, even the door panels. Hey, man, like I said, do whatever you want to your car. This is, however, a bit much, in my opinion. The amount of money this guy wasted hydro dipping his shit, he probably could have just bought a supercharger and built an, an actual clean car, but whatever. That hydro dip looks very cool in photos, I guess. Fuck it. This was a Mark IV Supra. That is no longer a Mark IV Supra. I will say, like, it does look like a fucking Bentley, though. Like, as for a kick car, Usually we see the MR2s and the Fieros looking like Ferraris and Lambos and all the fucking cars that you can think of. This kind of looks like a Bentley. Like the rear end doesn't, but like this front, this front, like half of it. I mean, it's it's pretty damn believable. Obviously, I mean, they don't share the same silhouette, like once you get to the pillars and stuff, but it, it actually it actually somehow works. And then that's where it just looks like a normal Supra. Yeah, I mean, at least the Supra interior is nice. You know, it is a automatic, sadly. But I mean, it, it's a luxury Bentley. Of course, it's automatic. You don't want to be shifting your Bentley. Why would you want to be shifting your Bentley? It's a luxury car. Yeah, see, so here's the two side by side. And as you can see, like it's it's kind of close, like not going to lie. If 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 this thing had a more of an aggressive, you know what? You know what car shares a much better silhouette? Not going to lie. Unless that's just what this bottom picture is. An S550 Mustang. That looks like the exact silhouette um, or pillars of an, an S550 Mustang. I'm like second guessing. it. I'm like, is that just an S550? Because it kind of looks like it now. I, I might be tripping. Let me let me Google some shit. <laughs> this comment says I'll shit myself after finding out they did it to a Mark IV Supra. I did not shit myself, sadly. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen done to a Mark IV Supra, sadly. Okay, no. So that is how it looks. That it, that it's not an S550 Mustang, but I will tell you, the S550 looks a lot more like it than than the fucking Supra. Like, all right, look at look at this. Look at this right here. Okay, watch this. Boom. Look at that. Damn near identical. Someone find me an S550 Mustang and I'll do it. I'm joking. I will not do that. Maybe I'll do it to my Mark IV. All right. Well, look at this one. Sure, it's controversial, but trust me, the back was hideous. I just don't have a photo of it. Or you got to get that booty shot next time. Oh, God. Is it even an actual Evo? OK, it looks like an actual Evo. OK, a little, little way you can tell besides like, you know, the hood and the bumper and stuff like that, because you could just swap that on. One way you can tell is the fuel door. If it has a square fuel door, it's an actual Evo. If it has a circle fuel door, it does not. Where the normal answer has a circle. Now you know. The, there's almost more tape on this car than um than mods. You know, honestly, like like there's mm, this whole front this whole front half is held on with tape and zip ties. So hashtag race car. I really wish we saw the rear. I really do. The wheels actually are pretty are pretty nice. I like I like the concave. Uh, I don't think they're the, the Volks that I'm thinking of, the CE58s or whatever they are, the C58s. I don't know what they're fucking called, but he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't think it's those. But uh, yeah, um, I really wish we saw the rear. It's got some weird, ugly fucking wide body on it, like some goddamn Transformers dog shit, some Roblox car shit. Also looks like it was keyed before. So this guy's definitely a heartbreaker. Definitely a, a steam and pilot shit. Does it have a roll cage in there? It looks like it does. I can't even clown on the guy though because I have some tape on my Mustang right now too. So it is what it is. I will be painting it very soon. I'm just trying to see if I could source a new bumper before I have to paint it because uh, it's just so hard to find that bumper. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Guys, if I don't post tomorrow, Merry Christmas. And I hope you guys have a very safe holiday with your family. Don't do anything stupid. Don't drink and drive. Just have fun. If you like this video, please let me know down below. Subscribe. And until next video, peace.